right, so uh, I was just jamming there the Frisian dominant mode. What we're going to do is we're going to show you some cool chords you can use for songwriting and uh, or just jamming with your buddies. Um, these, are your, these are great chords to use. They're a lot of fun, a lot of fun to use. Okay, so let's gonna, we're going to start off straight E major chord. Okay, this, even though we're, it's a Frisian dominant, it has a minor sound, we're not playing E minor, we're playing E, uh, e major. Okay, that's going to be your first chord. Your next chord is a, um, it, it's basically an F major 7 flat 5th. And um, if the technical name of the term, um, you, those of you who've watched my drone chord videos, part three, uh, Spanish Jam, uh, if you haven't watched that one, watch it. It's really cool. But I use the same exact chord, but that is a, that's in a straight Frisian mode. This is now, we're using it in a Frisian dominant mode because we will be using an A flat. Okay, so now, um, so this chord here, first finger, string six, first fret, third finger, string five, uh, oh, I, I made it. I think I said first fret. I don't know, but uh, first fret on that first finger. Uh, third fret, uh, third finger, string five. Uh, fourth finger, your pinky there on string four, fret three. And then you put your uh, second finger, uh, fret two, string three. So once again, first finger, bottom string, uh, first fret, third fret, third fret, second fret. Now you're going to leave your E and B open because it gives it that exotic sound. So if you were to do something like, like I was doing at the beginning of the video. Okay, now then, so now you're gonna slide up to your A flat. And this is gonna be a diminished chord here. And what you're gonna do, so on this A flat, you wanna put your first finger on your A flat note, string number six. And then on uh, uh, well, uh, uh, fret four, string six. And then you're gonna put your third finger on uh, fret five, string five. Your pinky is gonna go on fret six, fourth, thing, uh, fourth string. And then you're gonna reach your second finger over here and you're gonna grab the uh, third string on fret four. And it'll sound like this. So a great chord to use. Uh, in this progression that we're talking about here. Now the next chord, that's A flat, and A flat di diminished with your open uh, first and second string. And now, now we're gonna go to a straight A5 chord. So just by using your first finger on your A note, and then on your seventh fret, uh, um, fifth string, is gonna be your third finger. So basically a power chord, your little finger go here. And then what you're gonna do now is you're gonna mute string three with your pinky, because there's no G note in this uh, scale, only a G sharp. So as you notice so far, we've never, that's why uh, on our E chord, we're playing an E major rather than E minor, because we're, we're admitting that uh, uh, G tone and using a G sharp. So what we're doing now is we're, we're, we're stopping string number three from ringing out by laying our pinky slightly over it. We're not pressing down hard enough to make it sound out on the fifth fret, and we're not leaving it open to get that G note. What we're doing is we're muting it just slightly, so our first two strings are ringing out. We got our A power chord, sounds like this. Okay, so now, so what, here's what we have. We got, a, we got our E major chord now. You may notice I'm using one finger, it's not an E7 chord. I'm, I'm pressing down two strings with my uh, finger there because I have big fingertips. But same thing here, E, E, I'm just holding down two strings. Chord, and then we went up to our A flat diminished type chord. And then our A5. That should have sounded more like this. Okay, so for those of you who want more, what you can do is, what I would do is, I would go down over here to your B minor chord, okay? And if you don't know your B minor chord, watch the B minor videos, um, watch our basic chord videos, but uh, you guys, now if you're watching advanced, you'll, you should know these. So this is B minor, but we're letting our E string ring out. So that's, that would be your next chord in the progression. And then you can go to your C, and on the C, I let the first and second string ring out. So this is a B minor. 
where I'm holding down the second string here with the uh, second finger on the third fret. But this one, I'm leaving. I'm leaving those open like that. So same with the D. And there's your E. So you can now you can play your E like a, as an open, or you can use an E major chord. You can finish off with that. So here's the chords we used. Start off on an E, F with the open B and E string, A flat diminished with the open E and B string, uh, or A5, which could be replaced with an A minor, but I like this, it has a real cool sound because you're climbing on up. Uh, your B minor with the open first string, C, open first and second string, D, open first and second string, finishing off on your E uh, major chord or E with your first and second string ringing out. So there's uh, your chords uh, to use in your Frisian dominant mode. Great songwriting tool. Um, I just helped a, a band called Outfall, which I'm playing lead guitar for. Their album will be released soon. And uh, we just wrote a song using uh, some of these chords and others as well. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. Always free. Subscribe. Practice.